Can you explain the difference between guilt and shame? Well, that's an interesting question. You know, our legal systems really revolve around the concept of guilt. It's very important. But it's a very individualistic and decontextualized concept of guilt. The usual distinctions that are made between guilt and shame are that, that shame is experienced as a failure of being, whereas guilt is, is uh, experienced as a failure of doing. You've done something wrong. One of them is uh, you, the person who is shamed fears abandonment. The uh, person who feels guilty, fear, uh, feels guilty fears punishment. Those are the kind of distinctions that are often made. There are some researchers who are saying that the distinctions really aren't that important, that they're both interpersonal, that they have the same kind of roots, and it's sort of our Western tendency to think we're ex ex different, you know. Um, James Gilligan, who's an important American specialist on shame and violence, argues that punishment re reduces the sense of guilt but increases the sense of shame. And he argues that shame is the primary cause of violence. Now, if you think about that, it's no wonder that punishment doesn't work because it increases one's sense of guilt. But if it increases the sense of shame, and if shame is a motor that drives violence, it is no wonder that our prisons don't work. It's been a very, shame has been a very controversial issue in the restorative justice field because there has been some argument, John Braithwaite and others, arguing that if you use shame properly, it can actually be a positive force and that some people have argued that our restorative conferences ought to try to create shame. Well, what the most recent research is saying is, sure, shame happens. When you sit down with the person you've harmed, often you do feel ashamed. And actually, shame often operates for victims as well. But it's a very dangerous emotion. And shame is going to happen in those kind of encounters. The question is, how do you remove and transform that shame? And some of the researchers are saying the reason these restorative conferences are so successful is they do provide a way for everybody to manage their shame, to transform their shame. So the concept of shame is an important one, but it's a very controversial and partially understood uh, phenomenon at this point.